Welcome to Webinar Geek. My name is Caroline and I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a webinar in Webinar Geek. When you first open your Webinar Geek account, it will be empty. It is up to you to fill up your webinar overview with loads of webinars. Let's create your first webinar via Create New Webinar. The first step is Create. In this step, you can edit all important information about your webinar. Choose the type of webinar you want to create. A live webinar is a webinar that is hosted live. An automated webinar looks and feels like a live webinar, but it is actually a recording of a previous webinar. An on-demand webinar is perfect to watch whenever you have the time. We'll use a live webinar for this demo. First, enter the title, select the language of this webinar and add the estimated duration. Choose the right privacy setting for the webinar, public, unlisted or private. A public webinar can be found by anyone, even the search engines. For an unlisted webinar, you need a registration link to register. With a private webinar, only the host can invite participants. Choose a date and time or add multiple broadcasts. Some people will register for your webinar even though they can't make it. That is because they will want to watch the replay of your webinar. Decide if you want to make the replay available. Adjust the replay settings and click on Create Webinar. The second step is registration. In this step, you can edit all things registration-wise. This is the link to the registration page. Share this link with anyone and everyone or create custom registration links. This way, you can track where a registration is coming from. If you want Google to find your registration page, make sure your SEO settings are properly set. In the editor, you can adjust the registration page to your corporate identity. This not only makes your registration page look good, but people will recognize the registration page. Here are some things you can adjust on the registration page. Change text, upload new images, edit the font, choose the correct colors, and add your own background banner. Also, adjust the call to action button, Add your own logo and edit the presenter information so people know immediately who is presenting. To preview the page, click on Preview. You may have noticed that you can change the registration fields in this editor. That is because the registration fields are listed under a different tab. You can add or edit additional registration fields under Registration Fields. Add fields such as company name or create your own. For example, ask how viewers found your registration page and add options like social media, Google, or referral. Next is the confirmation page. Editing the confirmation page is done in the same way you edit the registration page. It is also possible to refer to your own landings page after registration. Then participants will not see the confirmation page. Want more registration options? Click on Embed. With the Embed form, you can place the registration form on your own website. Don't just want to give away your valuable content? Then make it a paid webinar under the heading Payments. This way, participants can only enter the webinar 
after they've paid for your webinar. Connect a payment provider to WebinarGeek via Sapir. Integrating WebinarGeek with your favorite apps is possible. Think of apps such as ActiveCampaign, MailChimp, LinkedIn, and even Zapier. With Zapier, you can connect more than a thousand applications with WebinarGeek. Change different registration settings under Settings, like maximum number of viewers, for example. The third step is Webinar. In this step, you can edit everything that has to do with your webinar, such as presentation and video. Edit the webinar page to change the start and end slide. This way, your viewers don't have to stare at a blue screen for five minutes. Adjust the aspect ratio between camera and presentation in the side-by-side -side view as necessary. Here you can activate the public and private chat so participants can communicate with the presenter. Let's have a look at the video injection. This is used to show videos during your webinar. Copy the link from a YouTube video and add the URL. Publish live streams from an external encoder with RTMP or use your browser to stream by toggling this function on. About your presentation, you can upload it as separate images or as a PDF. Add more slides, change the order and click on done when you're happy with the results. After the webinar, you can use the sales page to promote your product or service or offer a special promotion to the viewers. Activating the sales page can be done here. It might sound like a broken record, but you can also adapt this page to your corporate identity. The sales page will appear as soon as the webinar has ended. Same thing for the evaluation form. Want to know what your viewers thought of the webinar? Ask them in the evaluation form. There are several forms of questions you can use, such as multiple choice, checkboxes, and radio buttons. In the fourth step, we're gonna create interactions so you can engage with your audience. There are different interactions such as call to action, poll, quiz, and information box. Editing the interaction can be done here. Some examples of interactions are offering a free ebook or a download link of a presentation handout in the call to action. In the fifth step, we're going to create emails so you can share information with your viewers and follow up your leads. Click on new email to create a new mail or use a template mail. And yes, you know what's coming next. Adjust the email to your own corporate identity. If necessary, add a call to action at the bottom of the email. On the left side, you can change email settings and plan in the email. Depending on the type of email, figure out what's the best time to send the mail to your target group, but don't spam them with a dozen of emails. We're almost there. And the last step is to publish your webinar. Here you can see if you are missing something in the webinar. 
Don't worry, after publishing, you can always come back and edit your webinar. Hit publish. In the statistics, you can find all information about your webinar and your viewers. Are you the analytic type? Then you'll enjoy all the statistics that are kept under statistics. View information about the number of registrations, such as where the viewers come from, how long they've watched, the chat messages sent, responses to interactions, and comments on the evaluation form. Don't forget about the evaluation so you can get a feedback for your next webinar. You can download the statistics as a CSV file. All right, that was it for the product demo. Now it's your turn to go live with your first webinar. Good luck. Let's webinar in three, two, one.